Hello, I'm Greg Harrison with USDA Market News Service here in St. Joe, Missouri with your National Feeder Cattle Summary this week. Steer and heifer calves in the southern plains sold mostly steady to $5 higher. We got instances where there's as much as $10 higher and mostly on that's on steer calves. In the southeast, most of the calves trade in unevenly steady this week. In the northern plains, calves traded very uneven, trading with wide price trends. A lot of this depending on conditions of the calves, whether they're weaned or not, or preconditioned or not, and quality of the calves. But demand was very good for these calves with a lot of good quality calves being sold. Feeder market is fully entrenched in the fall run with supplies mainly being made up of calves for this time of year. Yearlings traded this week steady to $5 higher with very good demand. A strong Arctic blast moved across the northern plains, dropping temperatures to the single digits this week with the wind chills well below zero. This strong cold front moved down across most of the country and all through the major cattle producing areas. And hopefully this should help uh, improve the health of many calves by wiping out many airborne illnesses uh, currently plaguing new calf purchases. Flesh conditions, especially in Northern Plains, was a little bit more attractive this week as lighter flesh calves made their way to the auctions. Order buyers have really backed off from calves that carry too much flesh. And there's many, this week, many high quality calves offered this week in the Northern Plains and through the Southern Plains, selling very good demand for light calves heading south to the wheat pastures and also to be grazed out for yearlings for next year. The market remains very active for yearlings. Uh, yearling buyers can drop their guard somewhat when it comes to the health of uh, on these yearling cattle as the, these feeders have been on their own for quite a while and uh, they're going, uh, and if something was going to happen to them unexpectedly perish or get sick, it probably would have happened by now. So these cattle are going straight to a feed bunk and they're going to keep growing and require much less management than a whole bunch of new balling calves. Looking at some yearling prices in El Reno, Oklahoma on Wednesday, they sold 365 head of steers average and 819 pounds for a weighted average price of 240.82. In Aberdeen, South Dakota, at the Hub City Livestock Auction, they sold a pot load of steers weighing 808 pounds for 258.50. And looking at some prices on some steer and, heifer, steer and heifers, we're seeing wide price spreads, um, mostly on calves under 600 pounds, as uh, difference runs mostly 30 to $40 per hundred weight difference between steers and heifers. And a lot of this is due to the performance differences between steers and heifers as break-even prices are very high. Steers usually will outperform heifers and, and, hang, and get to heavier weights quicker. So at this time of year, you just see a better demand for steer calves. In Bassett, Nebraska on Wednesday, they sold 160 head of fancy steers weighing 640 pounds that sold at 292.75. Talk a little bit here about some feeding cows in Montana and Wyoming this time of year. A lot of cows are making their way to the auction and with very few of the cows going to slaughter. This is not from the lack or availability of the cows as way up cow runs and offerings this time of year are very large in that part of the country. And you're seeing a lot of auctions that start very early in the morning and go well into the night. Uh, by the time they sell their feeder calves uh, to, to get to sell these cows. So demand for feeder cows is very good as they continue to see many buyers at the auctions bidding and buying on these way up cows to turn out to feed. Doesn't make any difference the age of the cows or the flesh condition of these cows. Uh, they have a lot of forage, a lot of feed, and, and uh, a lot of these cows are, like I say, going to feed instead of going to slaughter. And it's also worth mentioning that uh, a lot of uh, these cows that can be thin cows and poor condition, but they're heading to the feed to be turned out, so put on some quick pounds. So very good and active market on these fed, uh, feeding cows up in Montana and, and Wyoming. And kind of recapping this week's feeder cattle market, uh, calves selling, still selling with very good demand. Of course, it's, it's best on the long-time weaned calves, and the yearling market continues to be uh, very active. So got to still have a very good market, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll continue to see this, and we'll see what happens next week. Thanks for listening, and be back with you next week.